What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys coming in hot. I told you guys that the news would be pouring in, and the news continues to pour in every single day. It's like I get online, I get notified, I get tagged and stuff. People just tagging me everywhere. We're back again with some brand new news, guys. This is posted up by They Are Action Figures on Instagram. I think he is a retailer, like he sells... Uh, used figures and new figures and all kinds of stuff. I think he's located in Delaware, so if you are in the Delaware area or the Northeast area, you may want to look him up. They are action figures, like they are, like T-H-E-Y-R-E, -E, action figures there. He listed this as like a little product placement, kind of like we got with the two-pack for Goldberg and Bret Hart, but pulling it up here, guys, you can see it has a product name for a bunch of WWE Elite figures coming soon. I'm guessing we're either going to get render images or possibly some prototypes of these guys coming forward. I don't have any series information. I don't know what series these could be, but let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine different figures. They'll probably be some of them in the same set, probably spill it up on some of them as well. But uh, you guys can see here, we have Alexa Bliss, Angelo Dawkins, Bianca Belair, Davey Boy Smith, John Morrison, Keith Lee, Montez Ford, Rob Gronkowski, and Steve. Austin. This is very big news. I would imagine that Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair will probably be in two different sets because they usually give us one woman per set. Except for Elite 77. That was pretty cool how we got Ronda and Miss Elizabeth. But I could definitely see them being because they usually give us like one current female in each line. So I would imagine you know we get Bailey in Elite Series 80. So I would imagine you know 81 is probably Alexa Bliss. 82 is probably Bianca Belair. Or it could be 83, 84. I'm not exactly sure of it. But pulling it up here, I mean this is pretty good stuff. You know we're finally getting our Viking Raiders very soon in Elite Series 78, I do believe. So getting the Street Profits in these sets right behind them is very, very big deal. Hopefully they're in the same set. You know, I don't want them to be separated like they do the New Day sometimes because they don't want to put all three members of the New Day in one set. Hopefully they put the Street Profits in the exact same set, kind of like we get with the Viking Raiders, like we've gotten with other tag teams in the past. I think that is very smart of them to put them in the same wave because if they're different, then you have to review them differently in different sets, and that's, that's kind of crappy. So hopefully they come in the same same exact set, but running down the list here, Alexa Bliss, I think it is time for her to get a new Elite. I think the last Elite she got was the Survivor Series figure, and before that was like Elite 53, I think, so it's definitely time for her to get a new Elite figure. We've had plenty of Alexa Bliss basics, but that is one that I definitely want to see updated in an Elite, especially with double-jointed, you know, knees and stuff like that. I think her figure could be phenomenal. Next up, we have Angelo Dawkins, and we just talked about this. The Street Profits, they definitely got to come together. I, I got to see Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins in good attire too you know I didn't I didn't really care for their basic attires that we got of those guys I really want to see some really good attires for them possibly in their NXT like Navy and Gold I think when they won the NXT tag titles in the ladder match I think and then maybe possibly their all red gear would be cool to see but I just hope we get some new molds and stuff like that I think I noticed where Angelo Dawkins basic they use like a Braun Strowman mold and they made that man massive and I think he is pretty tall but I don't know I, I hope his elite scales well with the rest of our figures as, so as well as his tag team partner Montez Ford and speaking of Montez Ford we also have his I think they're either engaged or that's his wife Bianca Belair here and I think her figure will be great I do not have her basic but I can guarantee her Elite will be much better. You know, double-jointed knees and articulation will definitely be the, the best part of that. And hopefully the, ha the hair will be poseable and we'll get a really good Bianca Belair figure. And it'll probably be in her Royal, Royal Rumble attire is what I would guess. You know, where she dominated that thing. She looks so good in the Royal Rumble. So hopefully we can get a figure. Unless the was the basic in the Royal Rumble gear. I don't care. I want, I want a Royal Rumble gear Bianca Belair. I don't care really. I just want an Elite Bianca Belair. That'd be fine with me. I'm just trying to name out attires from specific moments. Next up, we have Davey Boy Smith. We have not had a Davey Boy Smith slash British Bulldog figure in a very long time. We've never had a Davey Boy Smith elite figure. So we've obviously had a British Bulldog before, but we've never really had a Davey Boy Smith elite. So maybe we will get him in his jeans is what I would guess. Probably boots and jeans from the early 2000s is what I would be guessing we would be getting for Davey Boy Smith, which would be a really cool figure to see. Hopefully the trend continues with the early 2000s people because I love the early 2000s figures. I love to see that. We need to keep more of those pumping out. Next up on the list, we have John Morrison. Now in the past, I think we've had three Elite John Morrisons, if I'm not mistaken. You had the Elite Four. You had the Elite Four variant, which was slightly different than that. And then you had the All-Star version. But I think the 
Elite Four variant. I don't. I can't remember if the pants deco was different. I just remember the coat being different. So maybe we've only had two different John Morrison Elites. But this one, I hope, is going to be. It's probably going to be an updated one. I would love to see a throwback from when he was with Eminem. But I think that it could still be an updated one. It'll probably be an updated one. That would make the most sense to me, and I would love it. I would love it either way. Whether we get an updated one or a throwback one, you could easily update the head sculpt with a different John Morrison head sculpt because he looks pretty much the same. And I'm hoping this figure is going to be super badass and it's going to be just as badass as the Elite Four. I think the Elite Four John Morrison is one of my favorite figures that Mattel's ever released, and I think we could continue that trend here with this new Elite John Morrison. So John Morrison's definitely one that I am very glad to add to the list of our upcoming Elite figures. Speaking of which, we have Keith Lee on the list. Now this is massive. I'm super hyped for a Keith Lee figure. We of course do have his basic figure that was a pretty good release. I thought it was a solid basic. I own it. I converted it into an Elite using a Rikishi, which is probably too big. You know it is what it is, but it looks okay when you're pick fitting with it and you know posing it around it actually works out well it gets good posability so i'm guessing they're probably going to be using the tensai elite formula that will probably be what they use for the base of it in the correct skin tone with the correct parts on it of course but a Keith Lee figure is phenomenal. I really don't care what attire they give him. It'll probably be his main roster debut, either at Survivor Series, possibly. And uh, I can't wait for that, man. That is going to be an excellent figure. It could be from the Royal Rumble, too. I guess we'll just have to see. But I just want a Keith Lee figure, man. I just really want a Keith Lee Elite. I think it'll be beautiful to pose around with. And so Keith Lee is our next figure. And then we have Montez Ford, which we already discussed with Angelo Dawkins and Bianca Belair, the other half of the Street Profits, another beautiful talent. I think he would be great as a standalone single star. I think he could be just as good, man. I always talk about the acting abilities of Bray Wyatt and Wyndham Rotunda, but Montez Ford is just as good, man. He could go to Hollywood, too. I just love his charisma and his natural ability. He is a single star, in my personal opinion there, but Montez Ford is another guy I can't wait to see. Again, we'll probably get renders or prototypes of all of these guys once we get to Comic-Con or the releases of Comic-Con, because Comic-Con's canceled. We, we have to mention it every time in these videos. If you guys didn't know, SDCC is canceled, and we are not getting an actual event for that, so we will have to wait and see what these guys release to us over the airwaves of the internet here. But next up, we have a very controversial figure, guys. We have Rob Gronkowski. Now, if you guys didn't know, I think he was already cut by WWE. He was 24-7 champion for a little bit. I don't like when out, you know outside athletes come in. It really doesn't depend to me. Like you have to earn the respect. You know, like Ronda Rousey, she earned the respect. She uh, she came in and did what she was supposed to do. Cain Velasquez never really earned that right for me. Like he didn't impress me, and he was just gifted these opportunities and stuff. So it's just like, eh, what are you doing? But uh, Rob Gronkowski is one of those guys that I did not ever want in wrestling. He just kind of brings in this. Just really, I don't know, when he was the host of WrestleMania, it was pretty cringy to me, and uh, I was never a huge fan of him, even though I know he's a great tight end, he's a great football player, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, no doubt, and he is returning to football, which is why he is no longer in WWE, he went to join Tom Brady at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is a good move for him, I guess, and we'll see how that turns out for him, but if we are legitimately getting an elite of Rob Gronkowski, I'm definitely going to check it out and pick it up, and maybe we could have a singles match between him and Jinder Mahal, I think that'd be pretty hilarious here, in pick fed former or something, but Rob Gronkowski is apparently getting an elite figure, and hopefully that comes to fruition. I'm not a big fan of Rob Gronkowski, however, I would love to see this figure come to fruition. I've seen the McFarlane figures and the statues, the football statues and figures that they made of him in the past. I've seen those, and I think it'd be really cool to see him in Mattel elite figure form, and I'm sure that it would be a really good figure, but not only Rob Gronkowski, but ending it off, we have Steve Austin. Now, this is very interesting. It's gonna array. It doesn't say Stone Cold Steve Austin, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. As far as Steve Austin is concerned, this could literally be a whole bunch of attires. This could be so many different moments. This could be so many different times. So I'm just waiting to see what we get out of Steve Austin. But that is your full elite figure list. We also had some basics pop up on ringside. Now, I'm just going to run through these very, very quickly because uh, they weren't very impressive to me besides one figure. Up first, you have Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. Now, the Seth Rollins is the top talents figure in basic form that we're going to be getting. Same basic 102 head sculpt, but the Becky Lynch head sculpt, this head sculpt for Becky Lynch is better than the Ultimate Edition coming up. I love this head sculpt. You can see the little, uh, the little line going through her hair on the front part of her head there, which is from just the mold, I think, where they pull it out of the mold and paint it and stuff, but this head sculpt's perfect. I love this Becky Lynch head sculpt. I think it looks really, really good. Next up, the next battle pack is Drew McIntyre and Shane McMahon, and it's the same Drew head sculpt that we got with the Elite 70 or Elite 71 there, and it's the exact same head sculpt, something we've already 
seen. It does, it does look like they updated his body to a Triple H body, so it looks a lot better. His basic looks so much better than it did before. The Shane McMahon head, same exact Shane McMahon head. I like the jersey we got going, but it's not a pickup for me at this point. And then the last one we got is the Extreme Rules tag team match that we had between Undertaker and Roman Reigns on the same team that one time. And Undertaker has a painted on torso here because he was wearing like a weird singlet that night. I don't really know. It was like a coverall thing. And that's pretty accurate. It comes with an Extreme Rules chair. And the Roman Reigns head sculpt is the exact same as the Elite 62, which was a while back. And then we have the Basic 100 Undertaker head sculpt that looks to be downsized a little bit to fit the figure better. But uh, it looks like they have continued to use these series over and over here with Battle Pack 66. No, nothing worth really grabbing, at least on pre-order. Maybe the Becky Lynch. I think the Becky Lynch Rollins 2-pack is a pretty cool pack. But outside of that, I think it's pretty skippable, at least in my opinion. But you had the Elite Figure list, you had the Battle Packs leaked, and that was pretty much it, guys. That is all of the figure news I have for you guys today. If we have any more things, I will definitely put them up to you guys and let you guys know about it. But again, I mean, it's it's pretty much cool to say that you could possibly expect some news coming out like every one or two days. So definitely turn on your notification bell because there's going to be news and leaks coming all over the place because of, you know, the SDCC cancellation and things being leaked and rumored and prototypes and renders and digital things being released. So if we get anything, I will put it up to you guys. But thank you guys for watching. That is going to do it for today's news. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, My Damn Toys. If you guys missed our Finn Balor ranking video from earlier, definitely go check that out. I would really appreciate it. Monday Night Raw review went live last night as well. So if you guys missed out those videos, definitely go check those out. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.